Welcome everybody, Ray Del Vecchio here, and today I want to discuss the top seven WordPress plugins that you should install for every business website that you create, whether you're a web developer, doing it as a hobby, or a business owner and making your own website with WordPress. Over the years, I've used, I mean, dozens and dozens of plugins, I would say over 50, maybe even over 100, and when it comes down to it, Number one, I always try and have less than 10 plugins on every WordPress site just so the site isn't bloated with code and running slow because a lot of times that will happen. The more plugins you have, the more conflict there's going to be between the plugins and also the slower your website's going to run. Over the last year or so, these are the top seven plugins that I tend to install on 90%, 80 to 90 percent of the websites that I've created. You know, they, they do the business basics very well. They don't do anything magical, but they do the business basics very well, and they allow you to create a really professional website in a short amount of time, and they really do it the best. So let's get started with this list. So the first one is Advanced Automatic Updates. Now, this plugin, ironically, hasn't been updated in a while however what it does is it automatically updates the WordPress core software when new versions come out and you can also set it to automatically update your plugins for the same thing when the plugins have updates and the reason you want to do this is because a lot of times the reason that WordPress is updated is because of security vul vulnerabilities so you're gonna leave your website vulnerable to getting attacked you know by a hacker or something like that happening where a lot of bad things can happen so the best way to prevent this is to have a really strong password and to keep your WordPress software updated so this plugin is an easy way to do that and they'll send you an email when the website is updated so you get a notification of when different software different plugins or the WordPress software gets updated so let's go to the next one this one is the only paid plugin on the list, and it's Backup Buddy. But frankly, I think it's the one of the best plugins that I've ever paid to use because it really does give you peace of mind. Um, Backup Buddy is from the company iThemes, and it automatically creates and sends WordPress backups to to Dropbox for me specifically because I use Dropbox. But they also integrate with other services like Amazon. They have their own service called iThemes Stash, which is uh, you know, a cloud service that integrates really nicely with Backup Buddy. And I think they have two or three others available. But this is great because you can set up automatic schedules for your website to back up. And what I normally like to do is a weekly database backup and either a bi-monthly or monthly full backup, which includes all your files, which will be you know, your WordPress files and design files. Um, and the database is all the content, like your blog posts and your pages and all that stuff. The other great part about Backup Buddy is they make transferring a WordPress website from one domain to the other incredibly easy. So what I like to do is build a website on a do domain that I purchase, just a demo domain that I use for my clients to show them the website that I'm developing. And when I'm done that, what I do is I use Backup Buddy to transfer that to the new domain. And really what they do, it's a six, like about a five or six step process that you go through. And they import all your files and your database information from one host to the other. But the other great thing is that it goes through and changes all the URL references too. So it does all this in a like five or six step process that takes 10 to 15 minutes max. And it's done. And before, this was something that I used to do manually. I mean, it's been, like I said, two to three years before I've done it manually, but it used to take maybe an hour, two hours or more if there was any problems encountered when I did it manually, whereas now, you know, it's, it's smooth. I, can, I know that I can transfer a website within 10 to 20 minutes. So this is well worth the money that it costs. The next one is Contact Form 7. And... This is really the only contact form plugin that I've ever used. I've been using this for probably five to six years now. I think it's been in development for at least that long. And 
I, I, I don't know the stats offhand, but I would guess this is the most downloaded and most reviewed contact form plugin on available for WordPress, especially a free one. And what it does is it allows you to easily create multiple forms. They could be contact forms, they could be surveys. You can include any type of data that you want. You could do check boxes, drop down menus, um, text areas, numbers. So, I mean, there's tons of options for how you can build your form. And what they do is they give you a short code, which is just a simple code in between two brackets. And when you paste this code into your WordPress pages, that'll automatically swap the code for the contact form. This makes creating and editing contact forms really easy and the contact form results just get mailed to you. You specify which email address you want the information to get mailed to. Alright, number four here is simple 301 redirects. Now this is only necessary if you're doing a redesign for somebody. If you're building a website from scratch and you just buy the domain and they've never had a website before, you will not need this plugin. But if the opposite is true. If they had a website and it's already indexed in Google, which it probably is if the website exists, you need to make sure that you forward that domain to the new domain and specifically every page. If you have, you know, say an about page, a testimonials page, those types of pages, and the URL changes from the, or from the redesign, like for instance, say the previous URL was uh, mydomain.com slash about.html and with WordPress it's just going to be mydomain.com slash about or slash about us. If it changes like that you need to redirect one to the other because that maintains the SEO benefit and also if any links exist out there and somebody clicks on a link that link would be broken if you don't redirect it. So the way you want to do this is with a 301 redirect that's a permanent redirect indicating to Google and other search engines that the link has changed permanently from the old link to the new link. So what I like to do, there's actually a program called Screaming Frog SEO Spider and I believe they have a free version where you can go through and see every page that's indexed in Google or you could do this manually if it's only five or six pages by going to Google and typing in site colon and then the domain. So you could do site colon uh, mydomain.com and it'll show you every page on mydomain.com indexed in Google. All right, so the next one that I want to talk about is Sumo Me. And if you've been to my website, you know, listen to any anything that I've talked about before, you know that I love Sumo Me. Sumo Me is a relatively new WordPress plugin that includes a suite of tools. It's not just one it doesn't have one function. It has a suite of tools and it starts free. They have paid options, but the free options are incredibly useful. And they include social sharing. So it'll include social sharing buttons to every page in your website, or you could specify which pages you want those buttons to appear. The beauty of it is that you also get to choose where the buttons are, and it's mobile, completely mobile responsive. So the buttons can be fixed to, say, the left side of the page on a computer, but if somebody's viewing from the phone, they're going to be fixed to the bottom of the page. And in my opinion, Sumo Me does the positioning and responsiveness with these social buttons better than any other plugin that I've used. And I've probably used five to ten social plugins just trying to find one that works well. Outside of the social sharing, they also include image sharing on social networks. So say you have an image heavy website and you want to share on Pinterest or Facebook, there's uh, a tool that you can hover over the image and share directly to those social networks. They also have uh, a couple different email list building tools. They have heat maps which will show you where users are clicking on your website and they have content analytics which show you how far down the page the users scroll and therefore are reading. So you can see if your blog posts are you know hitting the mark or whether you should keep them longer, make them shorter. So they have a ton of useful tools that will give you information about how users are interacting with your website and you can engage them to really take your business to the next level. All right, so the next one here, this is also an optional one. It really depends on what you're including on your website, but a lot of businesses have information which they want to display in table form, whether it's a pricing chart, a comparison chart, 
or something like that where you want just a row column format. And this is also an area where I've tried a few different plugins and table press is by far the best one for this. This is pretty self-explanatory. What they allow you to do is just create tables. So you fill in the table data in your WordPress admin area and kind of like contact form seven, they give you a short code where you could swap it out and it'll give you the table and it'll style it, which you can adjust using CSS. And the last one, but definitely not least is SEO by Yoast or Yoast SEO. I'm not exactly sure how it appears right now in WordPress, but this is the best SEO plugin that you can install on your website. And what it does is it, it gives you a visual of how your website snippet is going to look in Google. And what you want to do is customize your title and your description for each page so that you're going to get more clicks on Google. So this is especially important for local businesses where you can customize different pages to different cities or towns. You could put specific reviews from uh, users or customers in a town if you want to get search traffic locally. Also, if you're in a niche market where you know you're, you have maybe an overall topic for a website, but you have a lot of different specifics on different areas on that topic, you can create a lot of different pages on WordPress, which is going to bring you more traffic on Google for people searching on that topic. And if you take it to the next level with custom descriptions on each page, that's going to help you out tremendously. So that's all we got. Uh, obviously, you know. This is no, by no means a definitive list. It just really depends on the type of business and what your specific goals are. And the beauty of WordPress is that there's thousands, if not you know, tens of thousands of plugins out there. The majority of them are free, and there's also a number of amazing paid plugins, like I said, Backup Buddy. And iThemes has a bunch of other paid, paid plugins. In fact, I'm a subscriber of their premium plugin suite because that gives you access to... I think 10 to 20 different plugins that have an amazing number of functions. And I use them specifically for themes too, so it's integrated really nicely. And it allows me to create websites really, really quickly now that I have my process down. So if you want to learn more, you know, I do videos, blog posts about WordPress, web design, specifically local clients. I've had the most success with local clients because you get to meet them in person, you build trust with them, it's more of a long term relationship where you are creating a monthly income and a steady income. So that's what I'm all about. And you can find me at these places, WebsiteProfitCourse.com. And I'm on Twitter. I'm active there daily, Twitter.com slash Ray Delvec. And I also have the list of links in the description below, so you can go right through to them. Thanks a lot. Hope this helps you guys and saves you a little bit of time and frustration.